Good morning guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Checking for a detail, I just got back from a run and this morning it was an easy five mile run. So what I mean by this was that I'm trying to keep my heart rate under 150 for the whole run. Um, so you might be asking how do I know what my heart rate is. First I got this, which is the Huawei GT2 watch I think it's called. Um, it's not great on the heart rate monitor, um, but it gives you a rough estimate. But then what I've recently got is this. So it's a Polar H10 um, heart rate monitor. So you just put it around your chest. And then it gives you your heart rate and basically the calories you're burning during a run. Um, obviously it doesn't give you the distance you run or the proper time as it's not got like GPS or anything. But that's what I use my watch for, the time and the distance. So what I do is use these together and like rely on that for like the calories and the heart rate. And then this obviously for the time and the distance run. So I did five miles um, and I'll put my heart rate on the screen now. So as you can see, the average beats per minute was 100 and 48 which is exactly where i wanted it to be i wanted it to be just under 150 um, and that's what i mean by an easy run so the heart rate has to be like under 150 then like an average run would be 150 with 160 and then when i'm really pushing it i want to go anything over 160. um you might be wondering why i'm doing this and um, i've basically done quite a bit of research on like how to get faster at running long distance and a lot of the thing that a lot of the pros and like higher end people use is heart rate training so run at a slow not at a slower pace but you want to be able to run at a good pace but also improve your capacity when you're low running at a lower heart rate if you get what i mean so you want to so for example today i was running each mile at six minutes 15 which is not that quick for me i can normally do like a five minute 55 sort of pace for five miles and so as you can tell it's a lot slower than i normally go but I'm trying to improve the capacity of my lower heart rate. So I'm working a lot on it so I can get it to like six minutes and still have a heart rate under 150. So obviously if your heart rate's that low and you're running at a six minute per mile, when you go up to the 170, 180 heart rate, you're gonna be able to run a lot faster. So that's basically the logic behind doing the easy runs and looking at the heart rate and trying to make sure it's below 150. So yeah, that's what I've been doing like once a week. And then my other run is more of a quicker run and where I'm just looking for proper speed basically and um, but i do this one on a thursday as well because i got a match on saturday and it gives me more time to recover if you get what i mean so yeah just thought i'd quickly tell you that um i'm absolutely dripping so i'm gonna go and get a shower and i'll catch you after there really is no question needed i am literally the goat and making protein oats um the consistency i get the creaminess i get it's just all perfect but yeah um, let me just put you on the tripod so then you can see properly I'm in shots um but yeah just made up my breakfast so it's exactly the same as normal i don't really need to tell you what it is now protein oats with peanut butter in there as well so i'll be eating this um and then after finishing this i'll be studying for the rest of the morning up until around half 12 ish when we'll be going to the gym so today in the gym we've got like a plyometric leg based workout because we've got our match on saturday um, it's now Thursday, so I don't want to do like heavy workout on the legs. So what I've done is I do like a plyometric session. So some like jumps and there's some weights, but all lightweight and like real explosive work really. And then some like stability and core work as well. And then we've also got some sprinting to do on the track. So that's basically the plan with the gym. And then we've got team training tonight, which should be good. So that's basically the rest of the plan for the training for the rest of the day. Um, as I said, I'm going to eat this do some work and I'll catch you in a bit. I'm not sure where this is gonna go into the video, but we've done it, haven't we? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you right now. Um, so if we go onto my YouTube page, just watch in a bit of Logan Paul. <laughs> Boom! We've done it boys, a thousand subscribers. So it's finally been done, a thousand subs. It feels pretty good. To be honest, um, been looking to get to this milestone for a long time now, and we've been doing YouTube for just over a year. So, for any of you OGs out there, put in the comments since when you've been here. So, if you've been here since 100 subs, 200, 300, or if you've been here since the first 50, they're the real OGs because some of them old videos are a bit stinky. And if you'd stay around through them, 
it's quite an honor but yeah a thousand subs it means quite a lot to me um i to be honest i didn't expect to get there this quickly and um, because the first like six months nothing really happened but yeah we ain't stopping here we're gonna keep going next milestone is obviously 2,000 subs and let's get there before the end of the year so it gives us about six months to double our subscribers i think we can do it because yeah with your guys support i know we can do it but yeah i just want to add this in a video just to say thank massive thank you to you guys for making it possible to get to this milestone but yeah let's continue working to the next one um but yeah let's get on with the rest of the video okay guys so it is now time for the gym um so as i said earlier we've got like a plyometric workout and all the weights will be pretty light um so yeah also a question where you're from do you still have to wear like masks i know you have to wear them basically everywhere in shops and stuff but like to the gym because i know some places don't have to wear them to the gym here you still have to wear them to the gym and like you still have to wear them when you're walking around which is very annoying but yeah leave in the comments how you have to use the mask so if you have to use them like everywhere you go just in shops and just when you're like etc because i'm very intrigued to see the different rules in the different places so yeah Let's get down to the gym and get on with the session. Yes, just got down to the gym. We're gonna start with like the stability work, then move on to like the light and strength work today and then finish with the sprinting. So yeah, let's get into it.
session complete. So that was exactly what I was looking for today. I'm not going too heavy or anything. And since you saw the stability work at the start, I've actually improved that quite a bit now. So it's helping my ankles, I think, because it feels a lot more solid now and I'm like, getting more range of motion in, in exercise as well. So yeah, that's helping. Then as you saw, we move on to like the weight stuff. And so there's some plyometrics like the box jumps and then like some box squats, but only with 60 kilos to try and get it fast. So my legs won't be hurting when it comes match day. And then we moved on to some other strength stuff. You only thing you missed was the one legged leg press because it was quite busy in there towards the end. And I didn't really want to film it and because it would have gotten everyone's way basically because it's quite a small gym. So to film with the tripod is quite annoying when there's a lot of people. Yeah, and then we just moved on to the sprint at the end. Obviously, you didn't do too much sprint today as we got training tonight, so I want to be fresh for it. But yeah, overall, real happy with the session. We did like 20 sprints overall. So yeah, real happy with the session, exactly what I was looking for. And you see it's not as intense as the normal leg session, but it's perfect to do like two days before a game, just to keep the legs moving and to keep them um, feeling good. So yeah, um, I'm basically gonna go home now and I'll catch you when we're about to make some lunch. So guys, lunch is served. So today we've got some rice with salmon and then a load of veggies in there. So there's zucchini, pepper, mushroom, and spinach. And then also like a egg scrambled up in there. So that is lunch, looks absolutely delicious. This is quite a common lunch for me. Um, I normally have this like on a match day as well because that seat is very hot. Um, because you've got everything you need before a match. Basically it's got the carbs and the rice obviously and then the salmon's good as well. Um, so yeah, that will be lunch today. Um, I do actually need to get a little bit more because the last like few weeks I've been seeing my weight slightly decrease every week. So this morning when I weighed myself, I was um, 67.5, no 76.5, sorry. Um, and I want to stay at 77, but it's been going slightly down. And this isn't because I've been eating less, it's just because it's getting hotter here. And obviously when it's getting hotter, you burn calories easier. So I just need to eat a little bit more again, just up it by a few hundred calories and that'll do. And just to try and stay at that 77 kilos because that's where I feel like I'm really happy and I'm not risking getting injuries because any lower than that I feel like I risk getting a few too many injuries from being too light. Um, but yeah, this is lunch. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna talk to you about how basically I stay motivated. I got a good question in a video the other day and I'm basically gonna answer that. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll talk to you after. Okay guys, so just finished eating and now we are going to answer the question of the day. So you put in a comment and so if you do want your question to be answered, it's quite a long one, put in the comments and I'll try and like answer one per video. And But yeah, let's get on with the questions and basically I'm going to answer it in two parts. So first of all, we're going to talk about the how do I stay efficient in my training and not get too tired. And I've sort of covered this in other videos, but it is hard you need to progress up to it because if i go back two years ago there's no way i'd have been able to do three sessions per day the next day guy again so if you if i went back two years i would maybe be doing double sessions a day and then going the next day and if you go back three years i'd just be doing one session a day so i'd be doing like a gym session one day football session next day etc um but literally the only way you do this is over time there's no quick um, fix for it there's no way you can go from training once every other day to three times per day it's just literally impossible for your body but the more you work and the more you start doing over time you'll start feeling right one workout I feel right in the afternoon I can go and do another one and um, you have to be intelligent at the start because by going from one workout a day to two workouts a day you're gonna feel a big difference and you've got to be intelligent at the start but then after a very long time, when you've got two workouts done a day, you'll feel, I can probably sneak in a third workout doing something else to improve my game. And that's where I'm at the moment now. So I'm at three workouts per day. I've been at it for nearly two years now. So that doesn't mean every single day I do three workouts, but it means the max I do a day is three workouts. This would normally include of a football session, some sort of long and um, steady state cardio and then like a gym session and some speed work or something like that and um, as well this could include a stretching session as one of the workouts and it won't be every day so 
the days I do free workouts are maybe three days a week. So I normally have a match on Saturday or Sunday. So I normally do them on a Monday, a Tuesday, and then a Thursday. I use the Wednesday as like a bit of a deload day just to make sure my body's recovered after a hard Monday and Tuesday. And then I use Thursday as another hard day. And then Friday, obviously, I deload again to come with the weekend matches, obviously. So that's sort of how I deal with my workload and I'm not overtraining because I'm used to it. Um, but for example, if you're used to doing one session per day and then you try and do three sessions per day for the next week, you're gonna see that it's not gonna be any benefit. It's not gonna be beneficial for you because your workout's gonna be so bad and you're just gonna feel horrible for the whole time you're training. So yeah, make sure you do it in proportion to how you've been training. So don't try and go, okay, um, let's go do three workouts for next week. No, it's not gonna work like that. You need to take time and you need to progressively overload the amount of training you're doing. And then the next part of it I'm gonna answer is how to deal with the pain. So even though I do, I have got to a stage where I can train three times a day, I still get a lot of pain in my, especially after leg day and, and long runs, I get a lot of pain in my legs. And I deal with this two ways. One of the ways it is literally just by going and training again, because a lot of the time if you can get out there and start training again, the lactic acid does start to wear off. And another way, which is a massive lifesaver is stretching. This is the biggest one to deal with pain and aches is just to stretch a lot. Um, I should do it more, um, I find it really boring though. But yeah, that would be my two advices, just to, sometimes you can just play through the pain a bit and get over it, but try and stretch as much as possible to recover in quicker. And then the last bit of it is how are my rest days looking? So in terms of the rest days, I normally have it a day after match and I just relax completely. I don't do anything. I normally don't even stretch, which I should probably do. But the day after match, I just wanna have a day off thinking about sport, thinking about football. And um, I might watch some matches. I'm not saying I don't watch them. I still enjoy watching them, but I just wanna have a day where I can relax my brain and not be thinking about what I have to be doing training wise, etc. Um, so that's how I deal with my rest day. I like have the complete day off. I don't even stretch normally, which I should do, but it's a balance between too much stretching and it's, it's getting the balance right between training and stretching and stuff and then just having a day off to chill out and you don't have to think about it. So that's what I go for. And I haven't been injured all season touch wood so it's going pretty well at the moment but yeah that's basically your question answered and um, hopefully this helps you out and um, as i said again if anyone else has any questions put them in the description and i'll answer one per video so get down to comments now if you have any sort of questions and i'll answer them and um, but yeah so the time is now half three and um, I've got to get on with a lot of studying. So this afternoon I've got quite a lot of time. So I've got from half three, and um, I've got some guy come around to do the hot water because it's still not working at half six. So I do like three hours of studying now. And then he'll go, I'll do like another hour and a half. And then I'll have to cook before going to train him. That's a good thing about training so late. You get a lot of time in the day to do your own stuff, which is the only bonus of that training, that 10 to 11. I don't think there's anything else, so yeah. That's basically the plan for the afternoon. I'm basically going to be here. Uh, I'll probably go inside because I can't really study with all the sun in me. And get me a down do a good few hours of studying to get ready for my exam on Monday. And yeah, um, I'll see you a bit later when we're about to go training. So on my train now, um, I literally just forgot to record anything else this afternoon, but I was just studying anyway, so there weren't really much to see. Um, it should be a good session because um, we need to win the rest of our games. We've got four games left. We're basically currently fifth in the league, two up automatically. We probably ain't going up, but it's a little chance if we win all the games remaining. There's a slight chance we could still go up, but yeah, it's not looking probable, but we need to make sure we win them four games after we bottled the last match, which really cost us like a proper chance of going up. But yeah, should be a good session, and I'll talk to you when it's finished. I just got home, um, the Metro's an absolute disaster. It took, me, it took me like an hour and 15 minutes to get back. Um, normally like a long wait for the Metro is like six, seven minutes, or well, today, I got there, it said 20 minutes on the board, which absolutely killed me. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's like half 12 now. I normally get back at like 12 ish, so half hour later. But apart from that, training was pretty good. It was like doing break it down like a defensive block because we're not very good at it. When teams sit back, we're not very good at playing balls in between the lines. 
So he was working a lot on that and then been doing a bit of finishing as well. Um, which finishing was good and the other bit meh, weren't great, but that's how it goes. But it is coming to that stage towards the end of the season now. Um, so it is getting to that stage where I've got to start planning for next season what I'm going to be doing as well. So yeah, I'll be showing you a bit more of that in future videos about how I planned and stuff. But that is where I'm going to end this video. Um, basically, I'm going to eat now, then have a shower, then get to bed. So I'll end up going to bed at like half one-ish probably, which is pretty late. <laughs> bit annoying, but it's just what I've got to do this season because we train so late. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take it easy and peace.